Greetings and welcome back to the town of New Camaraderie, where we are going to set up the construction of one of these beauties, followed immediately by the construction of one of these beauties. Only this one shouldn't be made of steel, it should be made of wood, because we've got a ridiculous amount of wood, and not that much steel. Right, how's the mining going on down here? Well, we've not done any of the mining down there yet. That's fine. Right, I would love it if you could hunt some of these creatures for me. Right, whilst all of that's going on, I'm thinking that it would be about time for us to uh, slow things down to the town. Oh, actually, now that's built. Okay, we've got a few more things that we can look at now. Um, but the first thing I really would like is... Where are you? Geothermal. Geothermal power. Let's get that researched nice and early this time. Now, over here, I would like to set up something that I've uh, been playing around with a fair bit lately. Um, that is a trap system. I find it's fantastically useful for dealing with initial raids. So, what I'm going to do... We're going to dig in there. Dig in a bit down here as well. Like so. We will then... Now, ideally, I would prefer to use stone for this, but we don't really have that as an option yet. So, we're going to build this out like this. We are going to get some wooden doors. Now, these are very important. We'll also have one over here as well. And we'll get a wooden wall just leading down. And we're going to have a kill zone, probably... Well, ideally, we want it to be kind of further away rather than closer. So if we set it up over here, maybe, we can have the kill zone there and then leading out into the rest of the colony. We'll do something like... Well, that said, for the time being, we don't really have much of a, a good area. Because you kind of want a, a large area for the turrets and for your colonists to take uh, their positions. Uh, I guess it wouldn't be too bad if we had it leaning out in this direction for now. But... Uh, no. Now, what we'll do is this. Now, the way I set this up is for the pitfall... Uh, sorry, the deadfall traps. Normally, they're almost impossible to work with. They're so incredibly dangerous it, it's kind of dumb to try to use them but if you just set them up like this have one there as well and then get some sandbags now the sandbags this is a an idea that i got from shen uh the sandbags act as a one-way sort of path because once a, a colonist or a raider is trying to walk over the sandbags they will tend to walk all the way through because you can't just hold position on a sandbag you have to get off the sandbag so by doing this once they're coming through here they're going to exit out into this area they're not going to clog up at this point and shoot out they have to leave it in fact we just don't need that they will just leave that area now where is this mad animal really we've got an elk that's mad why what have we done to you elk I don't approve. Dance a lot. You're drafted. Overlord, you're also drafted. Builder, drafted as well. Come hither, elk. Come fight me. Okay. Elk is actually fighting me. Okay, you guys can go kill the elk. Really? You actually got hit. Uh, it's just a bruise. It's fine. Brought this on yourself, Elk. Don't blame me. I mean, you can if you want, but I won't care. There we go. Someone please treat Rilda. If you even have to, honestly. It might not. It's just a bruise. It'll get better on its own. But we're already doing a good bit of research. Now, oh, damn it. The way I set up these traps 
is we will be setting up an area where our colonists are not allowed to go. So, for example, we'll have a trap there, there, probably have um, one right there, or perhaps one just by there, here as well. Now, that's why I've added these doors, is for our colonists to get out here, they're going to have to go through the doors. They won't have to go through the trap tunnel. The traps themselves will be restricted, or rather I'll put down restricted areas in such a way that my colonists won't try to path over the traps. So hopefully, this will be deadly for the enemies, but not so much for us. It is, there is never a time when it's going to be completely without risk, unfortunately. But it does significantly reduce that risk. And it looks like we may already be uh, starting work on this. We've already got enough plasteel, which is fantastic to see. And you're having a bit of a social chat down there. Also fantastic. Now, what I would like is a battery area, perhaps, around here to store up some power for my weapons. Hmm. Either that or I could have the uh, fighting area down here. Like the, the guns all kind of arrayed down here being powered. Oh, I could run her off the geothermy, in fact, once that's made. For now, though, I'm just going to allow our colonists to get their work done. We're running off a single wind turbine at the moment, which is not ideal. Not even slightly. Uh, perhaps I could set up a second. I think it would probably be worth it. Alright, so around here is where I would need to build it. Yeah, we can do that. In fact, what? Did you just land in my... Oh my lord. You scoundrels, you. Okay, well, uh, LMC. You're drafted, overlord. Drafted as well. Go there. Dance a lot. Drafted. On earth is Rilda? Rilda. Drafted. Well, this is impressive, because usually they can't do this unless you have... Really? You're not going to pop out? Oh, there's one behind you! Damn it. Rilda. Right, dance a lot. I would like you in here. Thank you. Shoot them in the face. Okay. You, well done. <laughs> They're broken. <laughs> oh, that is so satisfying. So satisfying. Wilder, slay. I want you guys stood down for now. So you don't accidentally shoot Wilder. That's right. Stab them to death. No, no, Wilder. Back. Oh, dear. No, you're going to move. Get out of the way. Ha-ha! We win! That was nice and easy. Well, I mean, that could have gone a lot worse. There we go. Now, there's a couple of ways that you need to set all of this up. Unfortunately, we are in an eclipse at the moment, and I have just set all of this up. You know what? It would make more sense for me to just build the second wind turbine now... And then just run cabling between the two and then replace that cabling with a solar generator in time. There we go. Right. Now, the way we're going to build all of this, we'll get this set up now. I want one here, one there. I could have one here. Mm, yeah. I won't have more than that, though. We'll have one there as well. I can have sandbags here if I really want to be be mean to them, slow them down a little bit. At each point, they have to climb over a sandbag, get smacked in the face, climb over another sandbag, get smacked in the face, so on and so forth. But I'm not going to worry about that too much. We'll just let all of this be done. Now, the way that we restrict it is we go to... Oh, where are we? Uh, squads, animals... Restrictions, manage areas. There we go. Now we've got area one. I want to rename this. We'll need more than these areas in time, but this will be no trap. The way that we're going to set up no trap, we go to zones, 
Uh, expand allowed area for no trap. The only things we're going to limit are these tiles. Directly... Well, actually, we'll clear that. We're going to limit the tiles directly behind each trap. And only those tiles. Like so. Now, the thing this will do is it'll prevent my colonists from trying to path over these tiles. They can still technically walk on them, I believe. Um, but they won't interact with anything on them. However, from what I've seen, they don't tend to try and path over them if they can path in any other way. So, by doing that, all I've done is say that they can't go here. But you, you probably understand that these uh, zones, the way they work, is they designate areas that can be walked on. So right now I'm saying the only places you can walk on are here. But if we go into restrictions, manage areas again, we can invert. So now we'll see that these areas, the only places these areas can't be are these. Now I am actually going to turn it back on here for now, just so that I can get uh, this sandbag uh, set up. I'm going to clear these just for now. So that they can't be built. Uh, actually, it's probably a little bit easier if I just allow them. But uh, let's allow all of that. And then simply turn these off. There we are. We'll cancel the construction of them rather than disallow those spots for now. But later on, we'll build all of that up. And then the only way that... When the traps trigger, my colonists will have to go out and come in from the front to rearm the trap, hopefully never stepping on the trap itself, because there's a small chance whenever a colonist steps on the trap, it'll trigger on them. So they'll just rearm the trap, then walk back around it rather than over it to get back to the base. That's the way that I tried to set all of that up. Nice minus 10, nothing in there is ever going to freeze. A modestly warm 20. And this room, only 11, which is not ideal. But that's fine. We now have speedy research. That is pretty good to have this early on, in my opinion. Right, additionally... Um, oh, damn it. Well, there we go. We're hooking it all up. I would actually like these to have uh, some chairs in front of them, honestly. In fact, I would, prov I would like that so much. I'm going to uninstall this chair. Then I'm going to move it over there. I'm also going to uninstall this chair as well. Now I'm going to drop these seats right in front of these workbenches so that hopefully my colonists won't have their mood drop whilst they're working. Since that's where they stand, by building it that there, they should be sat down whilst working at, that, uh, at these various locations so they're not going to have their mood drop or their comfort levels drop whilst doing work. Not entirely convinced that that's how it works. But again, this is another thing that uh, watching Shenrir's uh, RimWorld Let's Play has keyed me in on. There we go. And same down here. There we are. Should be gorgeous. Let's get that chopped down. Soon, everyone, soon you will have some proper power. Pig skin. Eh, it's not too far away from human flat skin, I suppose. There we go. This should help out an enormously. There we are. I mean, you know, if we ever get any bloody wind. Which we are now. Hooray! Let's start storing up some of this power, shall we? Also, we were not too far away from having ourselves some geothermal power. Which is absolutely glorious. How does all that work down there? The plasteel. Uh, not too bad, actually. I am going to cancel these, though. I don't need to work on it for now. I think we'll be okay f without that for the time being. I would like that elk slain. Okay. Really, is there no one who can make fine meals yet? I'm actually quite surprised by that. Well done. Finish them off. There we go. Are these chairs ever going to get installed? 
I'm actually starting to doubt it. There we go. Uh, I knew if I made enough of a fuss, it would eventually get done. Hurrah! Right, okay. So, people should be a little bit happier now. The other thing that I could do to make some people a bit more happy is adding in uh, some plant pots. So let's go ahead, get ourselves some wooden plant pots. One there, 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 and there. That'll be glorious. I would like some roses. You can be daylilies. These two can be daylilies. This one should be roses. There we are. Beautiful. In fact, this one in the middle should... Well, yeah, this should also be a rose. There we are. That should make this place much nicer. Also, please haul that away. Uh, drab, this is being... This is all full up. Yeah, if we chop that down, we should be able to get some more room over there. We're going to have to expand this, though, I think. All the way out. There we go. Right, okay. Now then, we could set up a comms station. I kind of think we should. So let's get a comms terminal about here, let's say. However, before we do that, thinking about it, let's... You know what? Let's just go ahead and smooth out all of these floors up to about there. Likewise, over here. Smooth more of the floors. There we are. Got plenty of work to do, but... Now, how's everything looking over here? I've got one more of these rocks to move, and then we're good. Once we've got that done, we'll build in the defenses around here. There we are. Uh, actually, I don't want stuff growing here. Ooh, there we are. Research geothermal power complete. Next up, then. Let's have a look. Surrogate organs, machining, simple prosthesis, cremation. I would actually like... Um, Pause that stone cutting or perhaps electric smelting. I think electric smelting, honestly. Let's get that going. All right, what kind of animals go mad? A boar. Uh, could be better. Let's get everyone for this one because he's going to come up through this hole in the wall there. The pump shotgun there. You there. Uh, let's move you back a little bit, actually. There we are. Rilda, you can stand out here. Uh, it's probably going to attack you as you're going through. <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh, my lord, please don't hit. Oh, phew. We could have gotten in a lot of trouble for shooting them there. I mean, it wouldn't necessarily be the worst thing in the world because it's just another f source of food for us. But still, prefer if that doesn't happen, I'll be honest with you. Right. Let's get back to work, everyone. If we can get electric smelting, then I can turn a lot of uh, the slag and various chunks into metal. There we go. We're going to need some more gun. Oh, there we are. They'll prepare for a little while. Oh, dear. Okay. Molotovs and grenades. That's not good. Kind of want them killed a long while before they become an issue. Now, the question is, which way are they going to come from? Actually, no. You go about your business for now. Hopefully, no matter which way they come from, they're going to have to... Ideally, if they come through this area, we're going to get a lot of time to shoot them before they're in a position to attack us. And the fight should happen far away from our actual uh, base. Who's idle? Emily. Well, Emily. Let's have a quick look. What do you do? You don't do a huge amount. You can help out with smoothing floors, though. In fact, thinking about it, everyone should really have this on at least four. But most people should have it on two. My best constructor should have it on one, since that's their job. When are you going to attack? There we go. Unfortunately, they're not coming the way I would rather them come from. But we'll be able to deal with it, I'm sure. Right. Want you... Uh, 
let's get you in position here. Pump shotgun there. Some pistols. Um, get my pistol ears into position. Kind of want them to come all the way down here to us, really. There we go. We'll slow it down about now. There we go. We've already done a little bit of damage. Just one down. One of the only ones with a long-range weapon. Oh, wow. Good shot on Emily there, though. Good. A gren grenadier down. Good shot on Cat. Keep it up. Let's see. Cat and Kit, really? Right hand. Good. It's going to make manipulation much harder. I'm not sure if that's actually used in gunfire, but it might be, because I, I would imagine aiming is hard when you've got a hole in your hand. There we go. Come on. Oh dear. Molotov cocktail person. Very well done. Very, very well done. Wilder, chase them down. Kill them. You're free. Go do your thing. Um, I don't think you're going to catch them, unfortunately, Wilder. Okay, well. Kill Diana then. Oh, that felt awful to say. Uh, let's get everything. Got some grenades now, which is fantastic. We may have a use for those in the future. And you're free. We now have many more foods. Uh, good is the time when food brings itself to you. Right, we want comms console right about there. We also want a chair right behind it. Then we want the trading beacon. Effectively able to reach everything in here. Unfortunately, we're not quite going to get that. I'm not going to worry too much about it, though. Because I'm probably going to have all sorts of things along the walls that are going to restrict what's built there. I will pop that in there as well. Okay. There we go. Now, I would like a lamp here as well just about there that'll do really that's your name what on earth did you do to your parents to deserve that it's quite cold in this room probably want to build a heater i will have a look into this in fact Let's go ahead and run our pipe work all the way across so we can have a vent right here. This will only uh, work on cold air though, but still it'll be useful to have. We can pop in a warm heater right about there. Just to keep this room nice and toasty. There we go. There we go. Now, I'd like this room kept to at least 15 degrees. We'll have another heater a little bit further up that'll deal with the rest of the heat. But for now, that'll do. There we are. It's actually going rather well. Shit, I didn't say anything. No one heard me say that. Right, well, we've got plenty of steel right now, so we'll go ahead and build our trap. So we want one there, 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 and finally there. We'll get these constructed soon, hopefully. We've got uh, only one, really. 86% uh, grown, that's not too terribly bad. The growth rate is really nice because they're on rich soil. It was very much worth building that there. Now, at this point, I actually need to restrict everyone to no trap. You should not go over these traps at any time. Because it can be an instant kill. Because this basically falls... These deadfall traps will hit the head or the torso with a good chance. Obviously, if it triggers at all... If it's only got two places it can hit you... 
you know, there's only a 50% chance either one will be picked. I'm not sure if this game has anything like uh, the larger the area because your torso is much bigger than your head so it would take a have a much higher percentage chance of hitting the torso but either way these things can do horrific damage to someone's torso you don't want to play with it all right how's the research going uh, not too bad actually let's get this wall set up all of these taken out this one as well and we should be able to build a smart vent. Where are you? Right about here. That will hook up and just make sure that this doesn't get too warm in here. There we are. This is all powering up. Might be worth me going ahead and building my geotherm now. So let's get that down. Right there. It's going to take a little bit of work to get that set up. In fact, you know what? I'm going to cancel that. We are going to get some flooring down here, um, and it's going to be some decent metal tile. Uh, actually, we'll have paved tile on the inside. There we go. Um, actually, concrete... No. We'll use concrete on the inside and then paint tile on the outside. People aren't going to be in this room, so why am I worrying so much about how pretty the floor looks? I mean, I want the floor to be tidy, but I don't need it to be pretty. There we go. Set that up. And get all of that sorted as well. Now, this should keep the temperature in this room no higher than 28 degrees. Now, despite this trying to keep the temperature in this pipe as low as 20, the net temperature is only minus 13. Ooh, it's getting foggy. It looks like fog, yeah. Okay, well, that's not too terribly bad, I suppose. Let's get all of that moved. There we go. Got our lighting in here. All things look fairly nice. Now, I would actually like to delete just that tile and this tile so those lamps don't have anything on them. Because it's just going to annoy me. Uh, as for production, we've got the sculptor's table. We've got a tailor's bench and a smithing bench. Also, basic prosthetics. Tailor's bench is definitely one that we want. Let's get that set up right about there, I think. But first, we'll actually smooth that floor. May as well smooth all of the floor at this point. Let's get it all done. And then we'll run power up along this wall as well. All the way up. We'll probably have a heat vent, another one in this wall, somewhere around there. Okay, that's actually looking quite nice. Now soon, I'm going to want stone cutting, because ultimately I want to replace all of these external walls with stone walls. Because stone is so much less likely to cause me issues not least because it's non-flammable all of these walls internally anywhere where there's a power source needs to be a stone wall in my opinion though it can sometimes take a little bit of time to get all of that set up so you know uh one colonist is idle that is not good who is it overlord once again overlord uh you've not got enough things to hunt clearly let's go find something for you to kill there's something there's another two somethings there's that as well. Ooh, there we go. Electric smelting. Let's have a look. What do we want next? Um, we want stone cutting. Start the research on that. Also, all of the hairs. Get them all. Bring them all back. It'll be glorious. You know it will be. Right, well, now we've got a stone cutter's table. That's actually fantastically good for us. Let's get that on the go as well. So stone Deal. Well, Rilda, I need you to finish that off first. Right, well, in the next episode, we're going to have probably Rilda set up the tailor's bench and also the stone cutting bench. And we're going to start people working on that straight away so that we can hopefully 
in the very near future start replacing some of these internal but first the external walls with stone walls that way we don't have to worry as much about people just coming along with grenades still going to be a bit of a concern but it's not going to be as big of one as it was previously but i hope you've enjoyed this episode and look forward to any advice or feedback you have to leave in the comments but until then and as always to take care